Hello and welcome to another Excel tutorial and another advanced tutorial in Power Query. Now Power Query is an ETL tool, so extract, transform and load. And the transformation we're trying to do today, it's a big one. So what we're trying to do, I like to call this unpivot squared, because what we're trying to kind of do is double unpivot. Uh, but let me explain. So this is our data and every data point has four attributes distributed with two columns and two rows, right? It's a kind of a pivot table-ish format. And of course, what we're trying to do is to have that single point as a single row and then the four attributes in that row, right? This is the format we need for data modeling. This is a format we need for pivot tables, basically for plotting for everything we want to do uh, with our data, this is the format we're going to need, right? So that is what we're trying to get from this. Now, if I start with a small example, right? This one is simple because it has just a one column and a one row of attributes and then our data. If I started with this, it would be so easy because all I would have is bring this into Power Query, and I will only need to do one thing, and that is right click, unpivot other columns. That is it. I now have two columns of attributes and the values. Now I'm not gonna load this, so I'm gonna say close and load two, and only create connection. There you go. But that is basically what I'm trying to do with this. So now let's bring this into Power Query and let's start working with this. So what I already did is I created a named range called data that fits all this data into it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go from other sources, blank query. So I'm gonna start with a blank query and equals Excel dot current work book. There it is. So Excel current workbook. And where is my data? Well, it's this named range data. I, I could also click here to see if that is it, but I know that is it. So I'm just going to click on table. And here's what I get, right? Now I did the change type. I'm just going to delete it because I don't need it. Um, it wouldn't do it correct anyways, because I still have my header rows, both of them up there. So why bother? Okay, so here's what I have. And my, my main goal is I know I'm going to have to use the unpivot command. I know I'm going to have to do that. Uh, but to use it, I need a single header row. So that's what I have in my mind when I'm starting to think about what I'm going to do. Right. And now I can join two rows. Well, I could, but that would be very, very hard in Power Query. Uh, but I could easily join two columns. So I could join these two into a single column. But would that help me any? Well, it would, because then I could use the transpose command. What does transpose do? Well, columns become rows. And if I can manage to the point where I have a single attribute column instead of the two and then just transpose it that is exactly what will give me a single header row and then i can promote that and do the unpivot so let's let's start doing that the first thing i'm going to do although will not be joining these two will be thinking about this one because you can see that it has the continent written up here but then it's all nulls I need these nodes to be Africa. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this column, transform, fill, and down. That's the way Excel should work in that one. Okay, so that's fill down. And we now have this column full. Now we can take these two and we can transform merge columns. Now we need to 
give it two things the name for the new column i don't care because i'm gonna transpose it anyway so it's not gonna take that name with it and what's gonna be my separator so the thinking here goes i need to make sure that is something that is not contained within either the continent or the country now i'm fairly sure semicolon is not so i'm going to use that one and say okay and by doing this i get a single attribute column and now i need to make this one a single header row and i do that by using the transpose command now with the transpose command you're always transposing the entire table so you needn't worry about what's selected and here it is here's my single header row now with this one i need to promote it so use first row is headers and now i have my two columns and i can just select both and do the unpivot other columns command but before i do that i still don't like this one because you see it has kind of the same problem that the continent column had so I'm going to fill this down first, all right? So I get the correct uh, year for each month. And now I'm going to select both of them, right click and do unpivot other columns. And I didn't even, you know, mention it, but you see these that are just the continent row. Well, it didn't have any data. So I didn't bother removing it before. Now in our pivot table format, that would be our subtotals, but here we have no data. So I, I didn't even worry about it because I knew that I'm gonna unpivot it. And when you unpivot, if there's a null here, that row does not exist. So I pivot this and get this. Now this is great because now I have my year, I have my month, but this one is still not quite where I want it to be. So it's a continent and country, but it still needs to be split into those two. But that's not a problem because I can split by delimiter. I know what it is because I set it and it's semicolon and okay. And here I have my numbers and the four attributes. And now just for the sake of it, I'm gonna go through the columns and just give them the names they deserve so i'm gonna copy this because i would still like to use it and i'm going to use it here so this one will be continent and i'm going to use it here this one will be country like so and there it is okay and now i just load this up into excel and I have my end result exactly as I needed it. The value and then the four attributes. Okay. So the way you should think about this, it's not even a hard example. It is kind of advanced because it takes a lot of thinking and it takes a lot of steps that seem not related at first. Uh, and yet in the end, you can see that you need every one of those to get the end result. But basically what why I love this example is because it shows you how you should think in Power Query. You should always think about, because Power Query has so many tools and, and we went for quite a different variety of tools here to get to our end result, right? And that's the way you should think about it. Power Query is an extremely strong ETL tool and the T stands for transformations. And that's what we did here. We transform two columns into one. We transpose the entire table. We took that and made it into a header row. We filled down some things and then we did the unpivot, which is one of the most brilliant commands in Power Query. And I'm guessing now you can see why I call this unpivot squared. Um, and thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.